ruby rough that's held together by the glass. Now normally they'll break these apart into individual and cut individual stones from the individual pieces. But at other times you get, like you have here, it's just a mass of ruby crystals which are held together by this lead glass. And so sometimes they don't bother trying to break that apart and you can end up with stones like this. <laughs> where you actually have two separate pieces of ruby which are held together. Here, of course, you can see the, the color, the golden color of the glass. Pardon? Is that an immersion or not? No, this is just... Just on a piece of white paper? Yes. Oh, <laughs> now, there's a composite there. Now, yeah. now, this is the traditional <laughs> term of, you know, composite. Oh, no, this is the rare bicolor ruby. <laughs> <laughs> but do you want to know, when I tried to buy this, he wanted more money for this one. <laughs> because I, I went through all of this, I'm like, wow, this is so cool. Oh, and I'm going, says, okay. yeah, of course, yeah. big mistake. The <laughs> gemological brain working as opposed to so, yeah. And so he looked at it and he wanted actually more money for this. <laughs> now to talk about some of the identifying characteristics, we're going to focus on the main ones. Craig has got some great samples to, to show you with these. Virtually all of them, they're showing a distinct uh, flash effect. In these images, you, you mainly see the blue flash effect, but you get a blue and orange kind of flash effect. And uh, this is, you're only get, you're mainly getting the flash effect because the RI match is so close. So you're not seeing the actual extent of the fissure, but you're just seeing the diffraction of light at the interface of the glass and the, the host of the fracture wall. Other very, very common feature that you see are gas bubbles. So here are the spherical gas bubbles you can see. Here you can even see this larger void that's inside the stone. You can see the golden color of the glass within this larger void. And what, when you have stones like this, this is a, a larger space within a void, what was a void, um, in the rough when they were treating it. So when the glass cooled and it contracted, you got a very nice, large spherical bubble that you could see. Not all of them are like that. Craig also has some examples of this. If these fissures are very narrow or the seams are very narrow, as the glass cools and contracts, you actually, these uh, bubbles, these voids which form, they're confined to the walls of the fissure. So you get very irregular outlined, you get flattened, very irregular outlined gas bubbles. These are more difficult to identify. Sometimes they can look like natural healed fissures if you're not looking for things like the flash effect and, and so on and so forth. Uh, one thing I also wanted to show, it's an inherent part of this material. Again, think of the sponge. You have a lot of cavities at the surface which are filled with this material, with this lead glass. And the RI match of the lead glass is so close to that of the ruby, it's very difficult to find. It's not like the other infilling, like I showed you, where you had a very obvious luster difference between the uh, infilled uh, cavity and the host ruby. Here, don't look at this. This is just a little chip in the, in the glass. It kind of shows that it's not quite as durable. Look at this very irregular outline here. This is all one filled, lead glass filled cavity. The only, this image was very difficult to take. The only thing you can see really between the two differences are the polishing lines. The RI match was perfect. You put that, I put that on the refractometer. This was large enough. This was a large stone. I put it on the refractometer. I got one refractive index reading. I did not get a separate refractive index reading for the glass. And this is the very same area in transmitted light. You virtually do not see it. And so this is one of the things that um, also led to my view where you needed to disclose this material separately because identifying the true extent of the treatment is very difficult. The refracted index match is so close. It's not like this infilled material I talked about before. That material you can see it with a loop, with a microscope, you can see the exact extent, the full extent of what's uh, the treatment. With this material, it's very difficult. I actually took a stone that looked very clean. Most people were saying, you know, but maybe this type of material doesn't need to be disclosed as a composite ruby because it's, it's cleaner, it's better quality. And so, to prove a point, I cut it in half and I etched the glass. And the back side was much more severe than this. This was still very widely traversed by the 
fractures and fissures and, and crevices that were filled with this lead glass. So the only way to get a real good ex idea of the extent of the treatment is to etch the glass. You know, it's, it's partially destructive, not something that you want to do routinely. So that's why we just categorize all of it as the same thing. We don't make different classifications. From what did you use to etch the glass, sir? Um, various acids will do it. Even some household products will do it. We did an original durability study, and you can have uh, some oven cleaners. Even lemon juice will etch the, the glass. Oh, charming. And so again, during some of our original things, we, we wanted to test the durability. So this was a stone where we took and we, we used a little bit of acid to see, and we got this. And this, as bad as this looks, we only removed the glass to a very shallow depth. The vast majority of this stone was still filled. If you want to remove all of it, it's quite a challenge to remove all of it. I actually did it for fun. I took a few <laughs> stones. I, said, I wanted to see what happened when we really removed all the glass. And even I was surprised. This is the kind of thing that we got back. The, just the process of removing the glass, the ruby was not stable enough to withstand it. It, it fell apart. <laughs> it fell apart, just removing the glass. Chris, is it 